Hello there guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. Today's tutorial is going to cover the heaving line knot. Here is an example of a heaving line knot. The primary use for this knot is to bulk up and make the end of your rope heavier. This way, passing rope is made easier. So you can throw the end of your rope overboard, perhaps over a tree branch if you're hanging a swing or something like that. Secondarily, it can also be used to create a makeshift handle or to finish up a project. But primarily, this is a utility knot that helps you pass a rope. The first way for tying the heaving line knot is probably the simplest one. So take an end of your rope and move a bit further in into your rope. Then fold your rope into a bite. Take your working hand and pass under the standing hand. Then, using your working hand, pass through the bite, top down. Like this. Then, simply do a series of wrapping turns. So like this, wrapping around your bite. When you get a sufficient size for your heaving line knot, take the end and pass it through the bite, bottom up. Hold on the standing hand to tighten up the knot. So this is the basic form. If you want to make it a bit nicer, run through the wrapping turns and remove any slack. Then pull the slack into your working hand. If you want to further secure this end to prevent it from slipping out, tie an overhand knot. Like this. Or alternatively, pass your working hand to the standing hand and splice it in. Let me also show you my preferred way for tying the heaving line knot. This one builds a bulkier and heavier knot faster. I'm going to start by making an S shape. Then, using my working hand, I'm going to pass under and through the bite. So like this. Now I'm going to pass under two and come up. Then over two and come down. And then simply wrap around, around 
Your three strands. So simple wrapping turns. After doing a bunch of these turns, pass your end under and through the bite on the other side, like this. Now to tighten everything up, pick up this top strand and pull this bite on the left in. So like this. You can see that the bite on the left is closing up. Then pull the slack out like this. And this is the heaving line knot. Now if you want to make it a bit nicer, you can also choose to tighten up your wrapping turns. So simply go through them and to remove the slack. This is useful if you're doing a decorative or a more permanent of a project. So like this. And finally, you're going to pull the slack into the end. To further secure this knot, you can add an overhand knot to prevent your working hand from slipping out. So like this. Alternatively, instead of tying the overhand knot, you could splice this end, so the working end, into the standing end to secure it. So this is my preferred way for tying the heaving line knot. So guys, that's the heaving line knot. A useful knot for passing rope. I hope that I made both tying techniques clear enough. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.